Father, and Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord our Father, thank you for this opportunity of giving us our institution. And we ask you to bless this time. And so that may God be the sign of your love and the closeness to us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. auspicious occasion of launching the, the Caritas, Caritas Microfinance Bank. It has been quite a, a long journey to be where we are at the moment. When we opened the bank on, 12th, on the 15th of uh, June 2015, we agreed that we will have a fairly soft, soft opening and blessing by His Eminence. And then we agreed that uh, after we have done some recruitment, then it will be the appropriate time for us to, to, to launch the bank, as we are doing today, and open all the doors to all our customers. Our choice of our vision is very deliberate, that uh, we are the household bank that adds value to all. Uh, this is because we believe in, the, in, our, in our vision, because we would want to empower households and subsequently uh, families. Families are foundation of every society. And if you have a family that is uh, empowered, then you can be sure that uh, you will have strong families. We also believe uh, as a bank that uh, faith without action is nothing, and equally action without faith is nothing as well. And that is why the Archdiocese of Nairobi also started the bank recognizing that the realities on the ground is that uh, people need to be empowered economically for them to be able to meet their day-to-day -day lives. Caritas Microfinance Bank endeavors to employ holistic approach and a will um, uh, and we will aim at improving members' economic and social status. It will work to promote integral human development through um, pro provision of affordable, innovative, and customized financial solutions. With its unique background, our microfinance bank will serve or regardless their social status or religious affiliations. Building on its humble beginning, Caritas Microfinance Bank will avail small-scale loans as um, the, it targets the micro and the media enterprises, specifically in the church-based groups, farmers, self-help groups, agribusiness, and the women groups, among other beneficiaries. Importantly, <clears throat> the bank will strive towards building on the foundations of a self-help program that uh, started three decades ago and uh, would target large portions of a middle and a low income and the earners in our communities, regardless of their respective uh, denominations. Caritas Microfinance Bank will be, um, uh, the for, uh, will be at the forefront of increasing access to communities nationally by offering 
more diverse product reach and the services under, um, uh, under an advanced business model with the aim of reducing poverty, um, uh, poverty prevalence rates among the members. I applaud the Catholic Archdiocese of Nairobi and the directors of Caritas for their vision in establishing the Caritas Microfinance Bank. Since its licensing by the Central Bank of Kenya in June 2015, Caritas has recorded significant growth. A comparative analysis of the microfinance banking sector on the 31st of January 2017 indicates that Caritas is now rated fifth of the 13 microfinance banks. <laughs> The government recognizes the need to ensure that economic growth we experience is shared. As such, we commend your intention to employ a holistic approach with the aim of improving members' economic and social status. This is, guiding, this is guided by your objectives of promoting an integral human development through the provision of affordable, innovative, customized financial solutions. We note with appreciation that you're adopting a social and competitive pricing model. This approach will complement efforts being undertaken by the government to ensure that credit is not only accessible, but also affordable. It's important to note that the financial sector is going through a transformation which seeks to enhance stability and integrity. We are confident that Caritas will be ready and will continue to set and maintain high corporate governance standards. In addition, we encourage the microfinance banks and other regulated entities to keep building and enhancing their business models to ensure resilience in, their di in this dynamic financial sector. They must focus on transparency, governance, and resilient bi business models, which embed customer confidence, which is the lifeline of any bank. And again, I repeat, they must embed customer confidence, which is the lifeline of any bank. It is now my distinct pleasure to declare Caritas Microfinance Bank officially launched. to have the Deputy Governor with us and His Eminence and we want to, as, as, a, as a memo, for them to remember that they were here with us. We have a small gift for them that you keep on reminding them to pray for this particular institution.